Breaking news first here at 10 o'clock. Chopper 6 right now live over the scene of a deadly crash involving a SEPTA trolley and a car. You can see what is left behind of that dark colored vehicle that burst into flames. The side of the SEPTA trolley is also charred there. It is Thursday night. The big story on Action News is that breaking news at this hour in Philadelphia's Overbrook neighborhood. Yeah, we just learned the man who was driving the car has died after police pulled him from a burning vehicle. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson uh, just now getting to the scene near North 59th and Lansdowne has more on for us tonight. Sharifa. Yeah, Gray Shari, a lot of people involved in this crash. Police say that is a very busy area. Sadly, it ended tragically for one person, a 20 year old. Police say was the driver of this gray Dodge Charger that you can see here. That's the chart remains from this crash. Police say the force of this wreck was so strong it knocked the trolley off the tracks. Now, police described this as a T-bone style accident that happened here at 59th and Lansdowne just before 830. Authorities, they're still investigating how exactly this happened, but police and witnesses say that Dodge Charger involved in this crash was speeding when it collided with the trolley. Now, the trolley was traveling southbound. The Charger was traveling well, the Charlie was traveling westbound. That Charger was traveling southbound. Again, they call this a T-bone style wreck. The Charger immediately engulfed in flames, a dangerous and scary situation. Police say an officer happened to be in the area and immediately jumped in to help. The officer actually pulled up immediately after and saw the Dodge Charger up in flames. Immediately notified radio, backup arrived, and they were able to reach in the vehicle that was engulfed in flames because they saw that there was a driver still in the driver's seat. So it was a very, very dangerous situation, but they tried to save his life. They reached into the vehicle and were able to pull him out of the passenger side and then rush him to the hospital, but he was tragically pronounced dead. Yes, yeah, sadly pronounced it not too long after he was taken to that hospital. As far as the other people that were on the trolley, I've told it was nine people, including the driver. None of them are reporting any injuries. It was one woman who was on there with her children. They did take those children to CHOP just as precautionary measures, but everyone else on that trolley is expected and say that they are okay. Again, this is an ongoing investigation. They're still trying to determine what exactly happened here. They say that there are cameras on the trolley. They are looking for other surveillance in the area crews. They are also speaking with witnesses who were outside at the time. Shari. It is so tragic to hear what's unfolding there. Okay, we'll stay on this story. Sharifa, thank you. Now to what